Hello everyone, Nadim here with uh, PCSN. So today I'm going to talk about where do you save your OneNote documents. So Microsoft OneNote has been around for a while. Um, I use it on all my devices, uh, iPad, iPhone, uh, Windows machine, Mac, I use it everywhere. And um, what I do is I save the OneNote book on my personal OneDrive. Hear me out. I do have business OneDrive as well, but there's a reason. So OneNote sits in my personal OneDrive and then it's accessed from all these devices. Um, my OneNote app is just connected to this OneDrive and that's how I open it. And the reason I do that is when I create an entry on one device, it automatically syncs to all the other devices. So almost instantaneously, I see the stuff on all devices, whether it's my handheld iPad, Mac, Windows, whatever, uh, or even web-based. Now, there's a few advantages to, to doing it this way. Number one, the OneNote document that you create does not count towards your 5 GB space you get on your OneDrive. This is the personal OneDrive. So when you set up personal OneDrive, you get 5 GB space as part of the starter plan. There's no cost, right? And since the OneNote does not count towards your storage space, you still have that entire 5 GB available. And now you've kind of disassociated your OneNote from your production data. So, um, I mean, there might be times when you want to just access the OneNote. Let's say you're traveling, you lost all your devices, you go to a hotel kiosk, and all you want to do is open up your note, OneNote because that's where your stuff is. So you can go to a kiosk and open it in a, in a private window and just log in. It's, it's your personal OneDrive. It's not... Uh, associated with your corporate account is not going to go through all the MFA and all that other jazz, right? You can configure it however you want to. I would enable MFA anyway. But uh, since it doesn't count towards your storage, it's really truly no cost to you. It doesn't even count. Um, now, if you put it in your OneDrive for business, uh, which I've seen you know people do, and then if they leave the company or something happens, you know, now they lost their, their OneNote and, and then they're trying to figure out how to get that OneNote and it's, uh, you know, it's a drawn out process. Uh, so I would say put it in your personal OneDrive, uh, access it from all your devices. It works great. I know some people in the beginning had some issues with uh, OneNote syncing right on some devices, especially iPhones, iPads. Um, but um, now it's it's not an issue. It works great, great works great every time. Um, so try that and uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, and in the meantime, subscribe, hit the bell. It helps, and uh, I'll see you next time.